One man planted seeds of hope for the poorest of the poor around the world, that they may live a better life. One man carved out a path and paved the way for the Blue Revolution. Why don't you work if you're so poor? I want to work and change my destiny, but there's no place to go. There is no hope for me. In order to break the vicious cycle of poverty passed down through generations, there was a need for measures that went further than simply providing food. Self-reliance and hope were needed. There was a boy who watched fishermen who were poor but lived happily catching fish and began to dream of becoming a fisheries scientist. He became a biologist to pursue his dream of creating a world without poverty and from the 1960s he plunged into aquaculture research. This led him to Bangladesh, where over 80% of the population lived in extreme poverty. When I started the aquaculture research in 1970, aquaculture was mostly done in the research laboratories. I wanted to make a difference that whatever the technology we want to develop, we want to develop in the field, so that whatever technology is developed, that is proven that it's suitable for that farming community. Dr. Gupta left his laboratory and living the same lifestyle as the farmers, learning to communicate in the local language, he started to identify areas where aquaculture might be possible. Anywhere there was water became the site of a prominent fish farm. Dr. Gupta identified fish species suited for the local conditions, developed aquaculture technologies and passionately gathered people together and taught them aquaculture. In those days, many women in Southeast Asia lived without the protection of human rights. It turned out that women had a knack for farming fish, and the lives of women who learned how to raise fish began to change. <laughs> Currently, 60% of Bangladeshi aquaculture practitioners are women. And due to Dr. Gupta, you know this tremendous change in Bangladesh now in the fish culture actually. I think this is the great achievement for the country in fish culture, you know, from probably 300 to 400 times more now we culture in the fish in Bangladesh. When he started, by 20 years, a lot of changes. People started referring to this explosive increase in fish production as humanity's blue revolution. Food shortages due to climate change. Reduced agricultural yield by 2050. The worst ever food riots. The majority of seafood we consume in the future is expected to be raised by fish farming. The Blue Revolution designed by Dr. Gupta has therefore become a model solution to humanity's future food crisis. In 2005, Dr. Gupta was awarded the World Food Prize known as the Nobel Prize for Food and Agriculture, in recognition of his leading role as the architect of the Blue Revolution. Dr. Gupta's challenge has gone beyond Southeast Asia and extended into the Pacific region and Africa.
Dr. Gupta's extraordinary ambition of planting seeds of hope in the poorest areas has grown into a miracle of independence for people and is still spreading. Traveling the Indian coastal shores, the boy who watched as poor fishermen caught fish for a living has become a world-class fishery scientist and cultivated a miracle of self-sufficiency for the world's poor.